Hey y'all, welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. I'm Harmony, and this is my YouTube channel, duh, of course. Um, today we're going to be doing a whole house clean with me. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, we've had some sick kiddos and a sick hubby, and now everyone's finally back at school, everyone's back at work, and I can finally get this house to where it needs to be. Because um, even when you clean, like when your family's home, it's not cleaning with them gone i feel like everything gets done and it's not in just different steps or different time frames throughout the day i can just go ahead and knock it all out and then be done um so i started with making my bed and then i'm gonna go ahead and just keep going from one end of the hall to the complete other i do not consider cleaning the toilets or around the toilets to get up the hair and cat hair um, and anything else that's around the toilets as a deep cleaning chore I it's so fast for me that it doesn't really bother me to just go ahead and throw it into my daily stuff. Now I'm just in my daughter's room and I'm just going to go ahead and make her bed. I, the main reason I wanted to tackle her room was she does a lot of arts and crafts and cutting and gluing and coloring. And I wanted to go through and um, get all those loose papers and papers that have just been in there. Um, she's, I don't want to say she's a hoarder, but I mean, she'll, she'll keep things, collect things. I, showed, I was trying to show you right there. I don't even know what that piece was for. So I just went ahead and threw it out. Um, put all her keys to her diaries or her little notebooks that lock in her. She has one of those things that was gifted to us from one of our friends that goes over her legs so she can color and stuff in bed. Then I noticed she had her unicorn beads, but there was maybe 10 beads in her little bead set so i just put it in with all the other beads that she has for making necklaces and bracelets and things like that and i just organized and kind of put everything together and went through things if pencils were close to being where you don't can't use them anymore i just got rid of things and just kind of organized and tidied up As y'all see, my son got a new desk. I actually got this off of um, one of our auction pages and I got it, oh my gosh, $11, I think, something like that. It was so cheap. It was under 20 bucks. I know that for a fact. 
and he absolutely loves it. So he has his gaming side with his PlayStation, and then the other side with the TV is for him to just watch TV. It gets so dusty in here and so hot with that PlayStation, even though we have it on a stand that has a fan in it. So when it's running, it doesn't get as hot. But his room, as always, for some reason, the air conditioning doesn't keep his room cool. Um, which has been what we've always tried to figure out. But with him playing and things like that, it can get kind of hot in there and super dusty. Not to mention, he has this thing with touching the screens of his TVs with his fingers. So I just got that cleaned off and vacuumed his room, and now we're on to the bathroom. <music> just gonna go ahead and get started on the kitchen as always I just wipe everything down clean out the sinks with my Dawn power wash um, I get that from Sam's Club because I feel like it's the cheapest way to go about um, then I noticed my microwave was absolutely disgusting which is really hard to pick up on camera but there was chili spilt in there my husband likes to reheat food and not put anything over it so it was all stuck to the top and the only thing that I do is I will take a sponge soaked in water and I will put it in the microwave for a minute and that steam just as look it just wipes everything out there is no elbow grease there's no need for soap there's no need for hard cleaners in here just get you a rag or a sponge soak it in water microwave it for about a minute and then that just the steam will just loosen everything up then I'll stick um I'll stick my sponge in the dishwasher and then just dishwash it it also sanitizes your sponge but i'm freaked out by that so i'll just put it in the dishwasher we're gonna do that and then head into the dining room after and get the table wiped off and get everything vacuumed
now we're just going to head into the living room and I'm going to pick up some balloon animals that I had made for my daughter. Fun fact, I do balloons. I do arches and garlands and table toppers and things like that. I actually just started up a business because I was kind of just doing it as if people asked me that knew I did it. Now I actually started up a business and I found out that I actually have a knack for balloon animals. So I made a couple for my daughter and she just had left them laying around. So we're just gonna get everything picked up and vacuumed in here and then we're gonna head on to mopping. <music> As always, I'm using my Shark Steam Mop. Um, this mop has lasted six years, three or four moves. It's kind of a holy grail for being so cheap. I love it very much. Um, as you can see, I show you how dirty my floors are. But what's crazy is we don't wear shoes in my house. You take them off as soon as you get to the door and that's just disgusting so disgusting i want to thank y'all if you hung out with me for this long for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one